This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday afternoon, September 19th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will be changing as the weekend begins with rain coming in. The good news, we're getting better model clarity on the ending of the rain. Uh, let's go in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the sky cam shots this afternoon. A nice, warm, sunny September afternoon. That's the uh, Trustville sky cam. Lots of sunshine there. That's coming from Tuscaloosa. Off in the distance, you can see Bryant Denny Stadium. First home game of the season for Alabama is Saturday night. The news much better for that game in terms of weather. We'll talk about that in a moment. And from Huntsville, that's our sky cam up in Madison County where the sky is partly sunny. Upper ridging here across the deep south, a cold trough coming across the northern plains. Temperatures around here mostly in the 80s, only 79 though at Fort Payne. Birmingham at 84, low 80s for Anniston and Gadsden. Nice and cool behind that upper trough with 50s over much of uh, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana today. There's a watch warning map. Pretty quiet. A few counties in Wisconsin under a severe thunderstorm watch. Flash flood watch for parts of West Texas and see some frosted freeze warnings for parts of Colorado and Wyoming. Severe weather possibilities for the rest of today and tonight. The standard slight risk of severe weather from Kansas up to Wisconsin. That's on that surface front. And then tomorrow, the standard slight risk includes places like Detroit, Indianapolis, almost down to uh, Cincinnati. And then on day three, which is Saturday, we could see some thunder here, but no organized severe weather is expected despite the rain. And this is the expected rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week. About one inch for the northern counties of the state, about two inches for the southern counties, and that sounds about right. And the bulk of that will be uh, from the pre-dawn hour Saturday up through uh, Saturday afternoon. Tropical weather, Umberto, a depression, kind of fizzling out in the middle of the Atlantic. Got a little uh, wave east of the Bahamas that should not develop. And our Bay of Campeche system is just not happening. You know, we thought this might be Tropical Storm Jerry by now, but it's very disorganized. Uh, and it looks like now if anything develops down there, it's going to drift over into Mexico with no threat to the uh, central Gulf Coast up here. That's the uh, tropical models. And this is the uh, INSEP Ensemble guidance. And basically all 20 members, except maybe one, uh, kind of take it uh, mostly into Mexico. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, the, the intensity guidance, uh, about split in half. Half the models keep it uh, uh, under tropical storm strength. A few do bring it up to a tropical storm. But again, for now, looks like this will not affect us. And boy, that's a nasty-looking uh, system. A super typhoon, Usagi. Uh, that thing could be clipping uh, uh, Taiwan uh, here in about uh, 36 hours, the southern tip of Taiwan, then ultimately moving over toward Hong Kong. Uh, that thing will be uh, weakening with time. It won't be that strong when it affects Hong Kong, but it's uh, clearly something to watch in coming days. We'll check modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Upper high in the northern Gulf, big trough passing north of us, and a cold front on the way. Uh, stretching from near Chicago down to Oklahoma City and Lubbock. But we think the day will be dry with a high in the mid to upper 80s, much like today. Uh, let's go to Saturday morning. This is 7 a.m. It's raining. So when you wake up Saturday morning, it should be raining. The rain probably starts in the pre-dawn hours, maybe 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. But, boy, the news is good. Look at this. At 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, the GFS has the rain basically out of here already. So uh, that's very encouraging for football fans uh, attending games. You know, we've got Alabama with a game Saturday night in Tuscaloosa. In fact, let's look at Saturday night. This is 7 p.m. As many of these games are getting underway, Tuscaloosa, rain is gone. The sky should be clearing. If this is right, and we're starting to buy into this, Baton Rouge, Louisiana for the Auburn game, same thing. Rain down to the south. The game should be played with no rain. Let's check the RPM, the high-resolution model. This is 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Now, the rain could be heavy. Understand Saturday morning will be a soaker. Uh, rain amounts of one inch around here sound about right. Uh, raining at Baton Rouge and Tuscaloosa Saturday morning at 9. But let's go to Saturday evening at 7 o'clock Central Time, 7 p.m. Tuscaloosa, rain, gone. Baton Rouge, rain, gone. Uh, so I think we're just going to go ahead and probably drop the uh, mention of rain for now for both of those stadium sites. But the tailgaters will clearly get wet during the day Saturday. The outlier remains the European. This is the European valid uh, Saturday evening 
at uh, 7 o'clock, and it still got it raining at both of those venues, Tuscaloosa and Baton Rouge. But again, it's starting to trend faster as well, and we're going to roll with the drier RPM and GFS solutions. So uh, much better news for Saturday night. Sunday looks like a gorgeous day. Bright sunshine, low humidity. The high should be in the low 80s. Uh, good chance we start the day down in the 50s. I mean, maybe low 50s in spots. It's going to feel very refreshing. Monday looks good. Again, we'll start the day in the 50s. The high will be in the 80s. We're dry. Uh, there's Tuesday, Wednesday, still rain-free. And a week from today, big, big trough in the west. Upper high over Georgia. Down below that, we're warm and dry. With an upper high, we'll be well up in the 80s, maybe upper 80s. And out west, it'll be pretty chilly out there with that big trough. Uh, we'll check the end of the forecast, October 4th. Pretty good trough over the northeast, and down below that, a cool high trying to push down in here. And again, uh, maybe a few showers with a, a front, if that's correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 television this evening on the uh, live stream or the TV side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.